You see here a setup to demonstrate the USB power delivery roll swap feature. It consists of two identical prototypes. One is programmed as a default provider consumer, the other one as a default consumer provider. They are connected to each other via this USB cable. And via this same USB cable, also this display is connected to this laptop via the cable over here. And is connected here with a USB to, a to HDMI converter based on display link technology. You can see here on the right side of the display the output of this USB scope which is connected to the laptop. And at the moment the red trace is connected by this probe here to the Feebus in that's going through this box. Also Feebus here is connected to this voltmeter and you can see the voltage is about 5 volts. This box uh, has another feature that is it can connect a capacitor over Feebus, between Feebus and ground which will effectively kill any communication that's going on over Feebus. As you can see at the moment here, there's communication going on. The reason is that the consumer provider is asking for 16 volts, to the, which it cannot get from the provider consumer at the moment because the provider consumer, its power connection is disconnected. So it can only deliver the 5 volts. Because as you can see, the input of the provider consumer is only 6.7 volts. And likewise, the consumer provider has an input of 6.8 uh, volts. They both need that uh, to feed the FPGA which is, is inside. Now if I push the button on this little box, you will see that the communication on the oscilloscope diagram is really disappearing. And when I release the button, it comes back. You can also see here that on Feebus there is 5.25 volts, which is about the same as you can see over here. Both prototypes are connected via I2C also to the PC. And that way, uh, by the measured data that is done inside the boxes, the, the data can be displayed on the display. Furthermore, both prototypes on the on the load output, which is on, on the bottom side here, I connected a car lamp of 12 volts, 21 watts. If you put on 16 volts, they will draw about 2 amps. Here, there's also a lamp the same way. And in series with this lamp, I also connected here this amp meter, which has a 3 amp full scale. <coughs> now, we can connect uh, to the provided consumer more power. But that will raise the voltage to 16 volts. So let's first set the scale somewhat different. So we can really see. Well, it takes a while. Now, if I connect the provided consumer power you will see that the lamp on the consumer provider side now is lighting up. You can see here that it's really the voltage is went up to almost 16 volts, which you can also see over here. The bus voltage is 15 and a half and the, at the load it's only 14 and a half, which indicates we have quite some drop over the cable here at 2 amps. You can see here that the DC input voltage of the provider consumer is really 90.7 volts. The DC input here on the consumer provider side went up a little because there's an LDO in between and it has a little bit of back uh, powering over there. Now, if we now want to do the roll swap, <coughs> I first had a trigger to uh, a different <coughs> sort of method so we can capture it up here. So now I will connect the power to the consumer provider and voila you see the roll swap has been established you see that first the 16 volt went down to zero and then the consumer provider took over and it ramped up 
and he has a large dip because when the load is switched on here uh, quickly because you see the blue trace is the current which goes really high and you can see here the meter now is over here at the 2 volt point to prove that the power is really coming from this side flowing to this side I can disconnect the power on the provided consumer and now you see the lamp stays burning I can put it back, doesn't matter if I now disconnect again the consumer provider you see that the direction is reversed again.